round five of six of today's Star Wars Destiny Tournament. Uh, we have the top table here on stream right now. Uh, we have a Thrawn uh, Mother Talzin against uh, FN Seven Sister. So hopefully it'll be a, an interesting match. Uh, coming in a little bit late at the start of the round here, but... Yeah, at least I got the necklace. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have... Uh, they're playing um, Daniel's Battlefield, which is a Rebel War Room. So uh, just a, a little bit of a primer on the Dave's deck, the uh, Talzin Thrawn deck. It's a very popular, it's basically the most popular control deck right now in the meta. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the, what the deck tries to do is Thrawn's uh, ability. Um, it uh, you know, actually activates, you choose a number, and then you look at their hand, you take one. So you usually choose one or zero. You take uh, a removal card from their hand, right. and then you also know what's in their hand, right? So then eventually what you're going to want to do is, uh, with the full knowledge of what's your opponent's hand, you can then eventually activate Mother Talzin. Uh, and because Mother Talzin's ability allows you to change die to any side, yeah. you can become very consistent with the results of your dice. And so you strip their hand of any interaction, then you play Talzin, and then you uh, make your dice whatever they want, and then you just start dealing damage. Yeah. And by contrast, uh, Daniel's deck is... Uh, it's a little bit more aggressive in the sense that FN 2199 lets you buy extra rolls of weapon dice. Yeah. As a lot of people know already, but yeah. We'll get sort of the Force Illusion. Daniel would have liked to have that. So this is a witch magic that, uh, that uh, Dave just played. Very good uh, card for control decks. Yeah. Uh, of course, you have to tailor your deck a little bit around that card to make sure that you can heal as much damage off. Yeah. Well, Talzin wants the odd numbers as well, yeah. so. Now, generally, what you want to do is Talzin's your end game piece, so uh, you want to protect her as much as possible. You want to you want to put all the shields on her. You want to try to heal as much damage off her as possible. And Thrawn is just there most of the time to try to get the uh, the early economy rent. Yep. Uh, one of the really cool combos with this deck is the Imperial Discipline card, which is on Thrawn right now. Uh, what it allows you to do is after you roll out Thrawn's character dice, you can remove the Imperial Discipline to turn one of Thrawn's dice to his two resource side. Right. So it can guarantee you uh, two resources off one of his dice. In the so we saw... A lightsaber from Daniel rolled in with a shield, resolving it right away on Seven Sister. And here's a Thrawn. Uh, we don't have the table audio. I don't have access to table audio at this moment. But it looks like I think he named one for his uh, yeah. number, and he didn't get anything off it. All right, see. So uh, discard and some damage on Daniel's dice. And I was mentioning, you can see the, the 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 money ramping ability of the Imperial Discipline coming into play. Dave's sitting on five five resources right now. FN twenty one ninety nine rolling in as well. Re rolls that uh, got a lot of pay sides there showing for a range of her melee damage. Feel your anger, nice. So because he's showing two blights, he gets to remove uh, two dice. Side. Oh, nice. So close quarter combat, he's showing uh, two damage, so he's going to discard two cards. Hits another Imperial Discipline, and uh, looks like a rocket launcher. Or no, uh, yeah. Oh, well, he has another rocket launcher, ready to go. <laughs> I will say, though, getting that second Imperial Discipline, I think, was kind of huge. Uh, and uses that discard side to get rid of the last card there. Uh, with Law and Order, was it? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Given, given, given Dave's, yeah, given Dave's uh, resource advantage, uh, losing that is going to hurt. Yeah. So that was uh, him using Talzin's ability to change that two. Looks like a two. Yeah, two, uh, plus, plus two. Plus two. And again, remember, Dave knows what's in Daniel's hand because of the Thrawn activation. So uh, changing it to a plus two means that he's extremely confident that he's not 
he's not going to get his, have his dice controlled by any cards in Daniel's hand right now. Yeah. So focus from the Thrawn, getting some more damage. Total of uh, looks like eight showing uh, with the resource spend. Daniel's going to focus on Thrawn first. Again, that's all. That's all on Dave's plan, right? Like Thrawn, I don't. I don't think he minds so much if Thrawn eventually goes down, as long as he makes a trade beforehand. So he's gonna, he's gonna take out the seventh sister, or try to take out the seventh sister, putting the damage on her first, because um, you don't want to go after F one twenty one ninety nine, because then those two redeploy weapons will just move over to yeah. the sister. Uh, Daniel claims the battlefield, getting that uh, free riot baton damage and on Thrawn. Yep. Seven Sister comes in, uh, looks like disrupt on the droid die. Oh, immediately mislead uh, to get rid of the two damage. Disrupt to get rid of that resource. It doesn't matter though, he's gonna get the money back with Imperial Discipline. So it looks like he named. Uh, we named one again. One. Yeah, he got rid of an Imperial HQ. Ancient lightsaber on FN. Rolls in a plus damage that he can't resolve. Yeah, shrapnel blast on the top of the deck. Yeah, you're always gonna have a, you're always gonna have an odd, odd, odd cost. I mean, and, and for the record, just taking a look at Dave's deck, yeah. all of his cards are odd cost. Yep. That's that's generally how Thrawn uh, Talisman's are built. So showing uh, looks, woof. Uh, Seven damage there with the pay side. He doesn't have the resource for it right now, but he can earn a resource here with the, the Rabaton die. Puts fatal damage in on the Seven Sisters, so that's the end of her. Uh, but, oh, and it's going to be one damage short of killing Thrawn. Eleven damage showing on Thrawn right now. Um, Daniel would really like to be able to finish him off this turn. Oh, but plays in a Force Illusion, so uh, not going to be able to finish off Thrawn anytime soon, or at least not this turn. Well, he can try to knock it off. Right now, with yeah, the, uh, yeah. Do some redeploys here. Crafted lightsaber. Oh, <laughs> no luck. I mean, things are slim. There's uh, not a lot of free sides on those dice. Uh, focus and some damage. Yeah. All right, well, that's not, not the <laughs> one damage to uh, is fine to burn off that uh, force illusion. Yep, wisely uses the claim, so he gets the extra uh, extra activation. 
Yeah, at this point, Tron's done his job, though. It uh, doesn't matter if he goes down now. Uh, Talzin, Talzin's the one with all the uh, dice manipulation. Uh, Dano can roll again. I see a rise again in uh, Dave's hand. Of course, that can only be used on blue characters, I believe. Okay, he needs a little time to get the resources for it, so yep. it'll probably work out for him. I mean, it is tempting to do the do the uh, upgrade over right now and potentially kill Thrawn without letting him activate. Did you see if there was an upgrade in his hand? I did not. I'm guessing there wasn't. Otherwise, he probably would have. So a few damage cards, uh, damage dice showing. No, I guess this does not look like there is one. Do you have any redeploy uh, upgrades? Get the. So, oh, all right. Yeah. Thrawn's gonna get all. Oh yeah. He should definitely have tried for that. Uh, the upgrade overwrite off the bat. So two actions remaining. Like, I think the vibro knife over yeah. top of the crafted lightsaber would have been the right thing to do. So, uh, uh, yep, so he uh, focuses, takes money, and now I think he just killed Thrawn here, right? No one else is there. No, what just happened here? I think he rolled a die that he wasn't supposed to. So, yeah. So, what happened was he did not lose the Imperial Discipline that he overwrote last turn. Um, so, that just meant that he didn't have the focus that he spent, which meant he got to use less, less dice. But it did give him an additional action that he uses to activate Talisman. Showing a handful of damage there. Uh, I believe that's fatal damage. Gets rid of the. F oh, makes him reword the four. four. Up to eight. We're just taking a look at the yeah, rocket launcher will just be another two damage, so won't die now. But uh, Daniel's got to decide how he wants to play this. Broken Launcher Special is just two damage on two characters, right? Yeah, okay. Not that, not that relevant, the second ability as far as dealing multiple damage, but two damage is still two damage. And of course, um, yeah. but, I mean, there is also the option, like, you just try to reroll to get to fatal damage. Mm -hmm. There's two sides that will kill, or three sides that will kill? Is it two, three, four, or three, three, four? It's uh, three, three, four, I believe. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Half the dice will be uh, killer, so I, I think the reroll is the way he's going to go. Well, it's, a, it's a rocket launcher standoff. Oh, Force Illusion, all right. Yeah, I mean, Dave has a bunch of uh, damage. He's got Force, effects. yeah. Force Illusion and another Witch Magic in hand. Witch Magic is a three-point heal every time. In this deck it is, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I think Dave is just, he's not, he's hesitant to claim here. Uh, using the Rebel War Room just because he doesn't want, he just wants to see what Daniel Dunn rolls up with. He may have to use the Witch Magic early, who knows. Yes. 
as for well, I, I, think, I think Dave still is is going to consider yeah. discarding to get fatal damage showing. Either way, we're very close to the end of this match. Ooh. That, I'm not sure about that. What, resolving the two damage there? Well, doing, using, doing the claim to do so. Uh, right, so they, like, I would maybe have taken the shield just so that took away two more sides wouldn't have been fatal damage. Uh, oh, no, they still would be fatal damage. Or, no, yeah, no, they wouldn't, sorry. Uh, all right, so that's it for this.